Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create an animated graph within Tableau Desktop. The data set that we'll work with is known as the Consumer Price Index, also known as CPI, which is a price index of a basket of goods and services paid by consumers. CPI is used as a measure of inflation by policymakers, economists, and market analysts. The CPI basket of goods includes housing prices, food and beverage prices, as well as other goods and services people frequently purchase within the United States. The CPI we will focus on is based on consumers in urban areas. I have the data loaded in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop date into our column section, and then for the CPI data itself, I'm going to drag and drop it into the row section here. And we have our data all loaded in. We'll notice that we only have partial data for 2022. So instead of getting the sum of the year, I'm going to get the average price per month in the within each of these years. So in 2022, the average price of a basket was $285.60. In order to actually create a animated graph, what we need to do is we need to take CPI and drag and drop into the pages section. And I need to be sure that by default it's set to sum. So I'm going to again change it to average. And we'll notice on the right hand side here we have our box. And this will allow us to control our animation. If I hit play, we'll see that the marker moves. We can make it move slower and we can, by selecting the two bars here, which we can see the marker is now moving, being slower. And the single bar is going to be the slowest pace at which the marker can move. What I'll do is I'll set it at the fastest speed just because it's easy to track. And what I'll do is we can also change the type of marker we have. So instead of a line, we could go for a bar and we can see how that looks animated. We can see the bar is increasing over time. There are a few other choices that we have that we can make when we actually make this animation. We can show the history. And the way that we could do this is that we can we want to see all of the history. And we have a few different options here. If I want to see all of the history as the animation goes, I need to hit all under the history here. And we can run this again to see how this looks as it's animated. And we can see that the bar is growing as it is going. The ones further out are more faded and you can control this with the fade. You can turn this off or on. I kind of like the fade. I would keep this as my aesthetic choice. Then we can also have format the marks in different ways by the different colors. And we can see that they're blue. And then the leading one is going to, the ones in the past are going to be purple and the leading one is going to be blue. And I can also put this at a continuous loop. So the way that we do that is if I go up here under this little drop down selection, I do loop playback and I hit and select loop playback. And if I just hit play, we'll see that this will keep on going forever and ever, kind of like a GIF. And if we want to stop it, we just hit the stop button here and that will stop it. We can make a few different changes here just to make it more aesthetically pleasing and readable. All right, and now I have this formatted like I want it, and I can also change the marker style. Let's say I want to have a circle instead. We can play around with the size, see how that looks. Maybe we don't want the overlap. Try to play this again. And we have our animated graph, and we can see that this is a time series, meaning that we the values are changing over time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again, everyone, and happy coding.